Hi, in the previous video we have learnt about list and tuple. In this video we are going to cover another data structure available in Python which is set. To define set we can put it into a simple language like set is a mutable unordered sequence which does not contain any duplicate value. Although we can store heterogeneous elements but the element should be immutable. So the first thing is we will try to create a set so the symbol used is this one and if we will say print type of a it shall return class of set but it will return class of dictionary because dictionary has the same symbol but dictionary has key value pair so what we can do is we can type cast into a set and if we will say something like this part then it will return you the class of set next thing is we can store Heterogeneous elements, so let's try to store some elements over here. So we will say Ravi 12, 12.5 and let's try true. And if we say print, it is giving us the result. But you can notice uh, that that is an odd, unordered sequence. They are the element random order. So we cannot use indexing for accessing the element. So for example, if we say A of 0, then it will give us an error. Another thing is uh, it does not store any duplicate value. We can have some duplicate values called 12, 12, 12. Okay. And if we will say print A, then what do you expect? Should it throw an error or not? No, it will just discard the duplicated value. So one of the common use case of set is something like if we have multiple duplicates value and we have to remove it, we convert into a set. Now let's try to discuss some of the ADT of set so union is something like if we have two set a and b union will say return all the elements whether it is from a or it, it is from b subtract means return all the elements except the other L set for example a minus b means return all the elements from a except those who are into b similarly we have intersection b which returns the common or common elements which are present in both the sets and asymmetric difference is something like return all the elements from A and B except for the common one or the intersector. For example, if you want to add anything inside set, we have the add method. For example, just create two sets over here, the integer sets. So let's say we have one integer set and there is one another set. So let's say we have elements one, two, three in this and we have 4, 5 in this. And if you want to add 6 to C, so we will say c.add 6. And if we'll say print C, then it will give us the value as 4, 5, 6. Now, now let's consider we want to remove anything. So to remove, uh, removing, we have three methods available. The first one is pop. So what we can do is b.pop. So pop is something like it removes the random value. Then four is being removed. If we added seven, you can see that see that it has removed four only. So another way is we have uh, the discard symbol. So discard is something like it will remove an element from the set if it is in a member, and if it is not, then it will not do anything. So if we'll say discard it, then it will not do anything, and it will give us the result. And if we'll say discard number 7 in this case so it will give you 456 but what if you want to make a constraint like remove 7 and if that 7 is not present you have to raise an exception so let's say something like this one so in this case key error so if the item is just not present it will throw an error so the difference between discard and remove is this only because if the elements whatever you're passing is not available discard will not do anything but in remove it will throw you key error now let's consider this thing so we want to print something like print b dot union c this union will return the sum of both the terms b dot intersect c similarly we have b dot difference right and we have symmetric difference now if we run this code if we will get this end like b dot union c is giving us one two three four five six intersection b dot intersection c is giving us 
empty set because we don't have any common element so if we'll put something like two again and run this code so intersection will get us the common elements difference b dot c so we have the common element as two in both the list so it will remove that and return the b element similarly b dot symmetric difference it will return all the element except for the common element that is two and what if you want to update all the elements or you want to extend two sets we have the update functionality for example if we'll say something like c dot update it will update the values it is returning none okay so and now if you'll say c then it will give you the result if you want to use a data structures in which uh, you do not want to use the duplicates value you should go for it and the mathematical operations like union intersection difference asymmetric dif symmetric difference we can easily perform with that so in the next video i'll tell you uh, how to work with dictionary so stay tuned do not forget to like and subscribe bye bye have a good day ahead